Hello and welcome to Olivia's Kitchen. We are making a classic Thanksgiving recipe with a twist. Coconut cream pie, except I'm going to make a pina colada pie with adding a cup of crushed pineapple and I would puree it a little more in a blender or food processor just so it's extra mushy, kind of like applesauce, but a little bit chunkier. Make coconut, coconut milk, not that artificial coconut flavoring, and instead of vanilla, you can use rum, a teaspoon of rum instead to give it that extra island kick to it. So, let's begin. Alright, so our first step is get a large saucepan that can hold at least four cups of, of milk. Uh, turn the heat on. And I have it at like medium low, we don't want to scald the milk. And I got a container of 32 ounces of coconut milk. You only need to use three cups, so just take out a cup of milk and just put it to the side and you can use it later for anything you want. So all you do is just get the coconut milk and pour it in there. And this is three cups, just take out a cup like I said. And you will have three cups exactly. So you're going to just slowly heat that up, and in the meantime, what you need to do is you need to mix three-fourths a cup of sugar. I did less since we're going to be adding sweetened coconut and pineapple, so it doesn't need as much sugar as the typical cup. A third cup of all-purpose flour, and a fourth teaspoon of salt. mix that in together and a little later on we'll be adding this to the warmed up milk. Okay, yeah, so the egg milk. Yeah, I gotta get the egg yolks ready. Okay, now that you've had your milk warmed up a little bit, about five minutes or so, gradually add that mixture of flour and sugar to the milk. Start stirring it. It's all in there. And then I would recommend getting yourself a whisk so you can get out all those clumps and you can just do it inside the pot. One here. And at this point you need to really watch the milk because it's going to thicken with the flour in here. So you need to stir it quite often until it starts getting bubbly and thick. Meanwhile, get three egg yolks and slightly beat them. And then all you have to do after that, I would just get like a tablespoon and just get a little bit of this hot mixture that's thickening right now, just a little, and just put it in there. So now, once you got your egg tempered, where you added the milk to the egg, now you add all the eggs into your thickened milk. And you keep it on until it starts getting kind of really bubbly and thick in like a pudding consistency. Oh. Now that it's bubbling, add a cup of flaked or shredded coconut, whatever your preference, and this cup of crushed pineapple give it that pina colada -y taste and cook it for about one more minute. What did you like now? Okay, now it's getting thick. Okay. It's, got, it's bubbling real good. It's got a real good thick consistency. So turn off the heat, move it to another burner, and this is when we add the butter. Excuse me. <laughs> so just add like a pat, two tablespoons, depending on your preference. It just kind of makes it creamy. And then instead of vanilla, you can use vanilla if you don't have rum. It's perfectly fine. But to give it kind of that extra Caribbean pina colada taste that we're all going for. <laughs> Add the teaspoon of rum. Make sure you do it not over the pot because you might accidentally 
go over and now stir this all in. And now that your pudding has chilled and thickened up considerably, now you can put it in the pie shop. And I would really recommend not putting it in when it's piping hot because it can make the pie crust soggy. So once it's nice and cold, you can touch it and not a problem, it's ready to go. So just pour it in a prepared pie shell. Just get it all in there. And scrape the sides. And so, voila, all you have to do now is put it in the fridge overnight and have it for the next day. Okay, it is the next day and the pie is nice and set. So, to add a little extra touch, we made some whipping cream. And just spread a layer around. You don't have to go too, too thick, just a nice even layer, maybe a quarter of an inch. Until the whole pie is nice and covered. I would recommend using one of these type of spatulas versus like a spoon. So you don't accidentally dig into the pie. You can make like a nice wavy pattern. Okay, and the next step is I got some coconut. I toasted it in my toaster oven. I have to really watch it really carefully so it doesn't burn. So it's kind of hard to get it all perfectly golden. But you definitely don't want to burn it. So I'm going to get the toasted coconut. And just layer it on top of the whipping cream. And there you have it. A dessert that will make a lasting impression on your dinner guests and will sure will be a hit. Mmm, the best part. Mmm. <laughs> your guests are guaranteed to love this. <laughs>